All right, guys, what we're going to make now is a recording of drawing a map. You'll draw all sorts of maps and stuff as in your career as you go along, but it's a, this is a really easy way to do it and a, quite an effective way. Copyright, you can't use maps out of certain things, I don't think, from Google Maps, and also you can get a map of an area and make it look good. So this gives you access to change colours and things like that. So it's Illustrator, straight up. In Illustrator, just a new document, any size, okay? We're just going to do this one A4 for now. We're going to change the size when we get going, but just say A4. Normally you just find the street or the area that you're going to draw, do a screenshot and file place that screenshot into your Illustrator file. Okay, so I've just got one here. Place that in. That's him here. Make him a bit bigger. Okay. Well, I'm just going to draw a small area of this. So what I'm going to do is just make a mask of the area that I want, which we've done mask. So if I just do a square over the top of, say, that area there. Okay, so that one, remember, if you hold the two things, if you shift, select both objects, if you right click or object, clipping mask, make, okay, or command seven, that'll make a mask and just give you what's left. Another good trick is if you use the page tool, which is this one here, okay, the artboard tool, you can drag the artboard into the size of what you're drawing. So then whatever you, if you want to get to the edges of the map, what happens is you can draw this road off the edge and when you paste it in, it will cut like a square edge of what you want. So all we've done is made a mask and made our artboard the right size. Very layer heavy, this stuff. So the first thing I'm going to do is with this one, so bring the opacity of that down, it's always much easier to draw stuff that's much lighter and you can see where you are. This is the base change this layer here okay lock that one off it's all done with layers so we're going to do the white road as the road and then the black road the background of the road the names I won't draw all this but you'll get the gist of how it works so this one is going to be roads over here okay so pretty much just straight up use any color pen just to get drawing because you're going to change it later on so pen I'm just going to start off the edge of the page come through and literally just come along and then just run off to the end and hit return on my keyboard and that's the first road. So all you're going to do is just come through and just draw the roads. It's very, very easy to do. So this guy's going to start from here. You're bending, as you've done quite a few exercises already, so you're getting used to how the bending of the drawing tools. Hit return to stop drawing. So I'll, I won't draw all of these, but I'll just come through. Okay, so hit return. I'll do this last one. So we're going to go from here to the roundabout because I'll show you how the roundabout works. Hit return so from here we'll bend this one across. They can hang off the sides not a problem. So there to there there to there and we're done. So what we want to do now is we want to select all of those roads, right? You can I can just I could mark here over that do it that way on the layer palette here if I click on that little circle there it will select everything that's on that layer which is really helpful so all I want to do here is just make those roads thicker and you see up here with the stroke palette make them the thickness of the white roads which is pretty much that make them white so this becomes white using your swatches so that's white roads and a very trick now right so we're going to grab that one and we're going to copy that edit copy we're going to make a new layer and this one is going to be called road outline okay it's a bit of a kind of it's so on this road outline layer i'm going to say edit if i say if i my com, things if i say paste if i say edit paste it'll paste what i've drawn in the middle of the computer screen okay but if i say edit paste in place it'll paste it where i copied it from so what that so that's quite good so what we're going to do is make that road black and we're going to send the black road behind the white road okay and then while we've still got the black road selected, it's behind, you can see over here, it's behind that layer. If we make that a little bit thicker, it gives you the outline. So all it is is a road on top of another road. So that's that's it, basically. It looks really smart. So I turn my background off. You can see it starts to look like it should. This roundabout is just, it's just that. All the same, exactly the same. So on the white road, just here, I'm going to draw a circle to there. Okay. That, that, that will be the black one because that's the last thing I drew. So if I cut that one, go to the road outline, say paste in place, all good. So I need another one of those, edit. I'm going to copy that again. I'm going to go to the road layer. I'm going to say edit, paste in front. And that one's going to be the white one. So this time we're going to use the eyedropper and we're going to eyedrop the white road. 
and that will fix that. So it's all it is is just that. Okay. And the next thing we want is the street names. So what I tend to do is lock things off as I go along and turn them off. Okay. So a new layer. This one. Street names. We'll spell them right. Okay, so pretty much it's just the straight text tool. You've done some of this before. I tend just to, I'll click once in capitals, P, P R I O R Priory Road. Just get the font, get everything how you want it straight off the first. Okay, so we'll just do Myriad Pro. Okay, just. Optima Bold, that's going to be my road names. Okay, so come into this, get this that's about the right size and we're going to use the rotate tool so under this one so rotate I'm going to click here and I'm going to rotate that around so all you're doing now is using the same road sign so this one I can go edit copy edit paste and that will paste it down here put it up here where it says the butts up here so all I want to do is hit rotate so normally the rotate might be in the center and that will rotate like that but what you can do is you can click on the rotate tool, move the rotate center to the beginning of the line. I've just missed it there. So move that to the to there, and then you can rotate on, the, on that thing. So then down here, you've got to work out what that says. So you're just literally going through and copying what's what the road signs are. So that's going to go there. Another one, if you hold Option down, you can drag that across. And that one... Castle Hill. So it's pretty much just running through. So Command C, Command V, or Option that one. Okay. I can hit R for rotate. I can rotate that around. So it's just a matter of going through and all this kind of thing. That's how the names are done. So whatever that name is in there. Okay. So that name goes in there. So that's your street name. Next thing. All this is really straightforward. You've got symbols. All that would be a P. So that's just a circle. So we might have another layer that just has symbols whatever you want to call things okay so on the symbols layer it's just straight up that's just a circle it's a red circle it's got a P in it okay it's really just using your mouse just to make it so there's my P P is going to be white because I want to see it on top of that okay so there's that so that's it so you just go through there's a castle there it's all just drawing things like that's pretty straightforward rectangle tool I'd probably just draw that little, the turret of the castle there. Okay, that's black. All about, so this option, option shift him across to there. Command D will duplicate that again. So then we want another shape, which is going to be from here to here. Okay, and one tool that we have used is this one. Okay, so this one. All right, so drag that across. And that will just, okay, that guy there. So that will fix that. Um, right, so that's just got names on it. Ticket officers were. Then you just go through. It's got a yellow background, so another layer. Okay, so this one might be the background or the ocean or however you want to do it. So this background color, we're just going to do one big solid color. And that might be a, a yellow, but a really opaque yellow. Then it's about moving this stuff around. So the background goes to the bottom. Okay, so we turn the base off and we start to turn things on and it will start to be done. So the street names, I'm going to move this up here. Okay, you might have ocean, another layer, so in here. Ocean or parks or grass or whatever you're going to do. So keep turning these layers on and off. So turn this one on, turn the background off. So this ocean, that's not an ocean, so it's a river. But on the ocean layer, we're going to come across here. Just that's a big thick line, so it's really just lines and strokes, and that's all you're doing. It's a very clever way to do it. So this one, so stroke that one, and it's going to be a light blue color. Okay. All right. So when you're finished, all you're doing is turning the layers on you're working with, and turning the base layer off you don't want. So that's it. I've only drawn little bits and pieces of it, but literally it's just using layers and drawing things. And you can go back, you can use your arrow keys, and you can just touch these up a bit, because I'm drawing off the other one. Use the rotate tool, just rotate them around a bit. Okay, so that's how you draw a map. It's just whatever you've got, where these things go for it. Okay, thank you.